Okay, well here we have a Superstar 2000, manufactured by Cybernet of Japan in the early 1980s. Quite a familiar radio, used to be a lot of these on the market. Had a sister radio called the Lafayette 1800 FM, which basically looked exactly the same. Now these radios came in two variations. This one here is what we call the, probably the more popular one, the 4 times 50 version. You've got four bands here and you've got on the channel selector 1, 2, 50. So you actually have a 50 position channel selector in there, not the standard 40. Uh, the other version, which is also available, had five bands, A to E, and had a 40 position channel selector. Both radios had 200 channel capability, but slightly different frequency coverage. This one runs from 25.965 to 28.005 meg, so covers right up there, just to the top of the standard UK legal FM band. Now another interesting thing, uh, the uh, the radio of this particular format goes mainly, mainly in 10 kilohertz steps so you can start off down on band A and band A and band B are all 10 kc steps 1 to 50 all in sequence band C the first 1 to 40 channels are in actual fact the set band uh, with also some gap channels there, or of course known as the AM American Band. Then when you go to band D, it all goes back in 10 kc steps, and the top 10 channels of band C are also 10 kc steps. Now, triple five on this one is, of course, channel five on band D. And there we are. Here's some skip there. Quite a bit of skip coming in today, propagation is certainly picking up. Now of course here we have the course tune, this is your 5kc variable shift, so you can use this to get your zero frequencies by simply going up or down from the centre slot. So there we go. Now what we'll have a quick look at is the output power on this radio. So we're just going to flick over to FM mode, key the microphone. Now we're off the scale, we're on the high power set and it has a three position power switch there. On the Revex meter, we have about 13, 14 watts there, just under 15 watts, no problem. Let's switch over to AM. There, there we are. And on the Revex, we have exactly 5 watts. And swinging up there to about 12 or 13. Over to USB in the meter. Audio, audio, nicely off the end. Again, just under 15 watts pep. And of course we are using the standard Superstar mic, no power mic. So there we go, I've serviced this radio and it's uh, absolutely spot on. Also, we're almost spot on frequency, so no problem at all. Now an interesting thing, if you're in the UK, and no doubt you will be, if you want to get the UK FM on this radio, you might think, well, it's going to be a bit complicated, but you would be wrong. It's actually very easy. Now one thing to remember is, is that to get UK channels on this, the first thing you need is band D, you need FM mode, and you need to put the course tune round to about the 9 o'clock position to drop the frequency down from a 5 to basically a 1. Now, channel 1 UK FM, it's quite easy to get to. Basically, we go to channel 10. That channel there is channel 1. It's easy to work out on this radio because if you want to go to a particular UK channel, it is simply that channel plus 9. So, for instance, channel 1 would be channel 10, which is 1 plus 9. Channel 19 would be channel 28, which is 19 plus 9. You want to go to channel 40, you go to channel 49, which is, of course, 40 plus 9. You want to go to channel, what, 23? Easy. You just go to 32, which is 23 plus 9. So it's actually very easy to use without having an EEPROM conversion board. Well, I mean, I can use it, so any idiot can use it, can't they? So there we are. If you're in the UK and you're using it on UK FM, well, you can see it's not that difficult to do.